They say it doesn't matter what camera you shoot on, as long as you're out there telling interesting stories. But my current PC is really halting my efficiency and holding back my creativity. My current computer is getting old, so it's time to build a new one. So a Mac or a PC? Well, the components I chose on a PC were coming in at £1,300. On a Mac, they were coming in at £4,000. And I'm not hating on Apple products. I personally own a MacBook Air and take it everywhere with me. But for my main editing computer, well, it had to be a PC. So here are the specs of my main editing PC. I went with the Intel 6800K. It has six cores, which is great for editing. The Asus X99A2. I chose this because, well, it fits my CPU. It's also got USB 3.1, 128GB of RAM space, and it's built for overclocking. And since I'm going to be overclocking the CPU, I needed something that was going to take care of all of the extra heat. I got the Corsair H110i GTX. I got 32GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Premiere Pro doesn't really improve past 16. So I went safe and went 32, just to be sure. I'll be installing Windows 10 on the SSD along with all of the programs, which is always much quicker than just installing on a hard drive. I have three hard drives storing media, which I already owned. The GTX 970, this is more than enough juice to edit nice and smooth. I put a Corsair 850 watt power supply in because I'm going to overclock the system, so I just need that little bit extra power. To put it all in, I went for the Cooler Master Pro Case 5. It's got loads of room to work in, easy accessible hard drive bays, and the cable management features make it nice and easy to make tidy. Altogether, this build comes with £1,300. I worked out I could have spent around £1,100 on this build, and the system would have been great for now. But I spent that little bit more just to future proof the system. So, why did I only stop at £1,300? Well, you've got to set a limit somewhere. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out the benchmark tests, you can find them in the description below. Also, if you want to check out last week's episode, that's also down there. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and various other sites.